good Saturday afternoon. Right now, it's about 5 o'clock, getting close to supper time, so I'm cooking supper. I've got supper in the oven, so it'll be a little bit before it comes out. Got a side dish of rice on the, you know, just setting up. I just cooked up and everything, setting up on the counter and everything. But I'm going to do one thing. Some things I might have forgot if you need to use a fallout shelter, make sure you have like a bed of some sort. Uh, Arab camping bed will work just fine. You can even use your own sheets and blankets and pillows off your own bed. Or if you have any extra laying around. Or a sleeping bag, whatever you want. Table and chairs. We have a full unfinished basement and everything. I was talking to my mom on the phone and everything for just in case scenario. And she told me. She and I had a t visit and everything. And you know, just get what you know suits your household. If you got family that or a very close friend that needs to stay with you, and they're bringing their supplies too, great. You know, especially you know, canned and dried foods, extra water, their own personal items, and any medicines they may need. You know, make sure they have it, and make sure they have at least some form of ID. You now, our driver's licenses will work just as well, and we're good. And since my folks don't have an inner room, interior room, or a basement for like, you know, to shelter in place in case of tornado or fallout, or in case of fallout, because you know we live in the Midwest, we're too far from the from the Mississippi River, we're like a mile or so in land, so we're safe and everything. <laughs> Otherwise, um, just the TV, you know, right now I've been keeping an eye on the news and everything. And at least my husband will have a meal to eat when he gets home from work and everything. And yes, I am still getting things ready. Thank God today we're at Jeff Con 3. been w looking up on my phone, on the internet every day. Uh, we also have, you know, plenty of items and everything, plenty of supplies for the dog and for us and everything. We're good on medicine, we're good on food. And if we have to, you know, use wash our clothing and just you know, help by hand, at least I could put on drying rack. At least, you know, I can always get a little dish rack and everything or a dish, you know, thing, you know, dish mat, you know, to dry our dishes on. We can use disposables and then just wash our pots, pans and stirring spoons and everything. Not that hard to do, and everything. And you know, just keep stuff around for whatever. You know, make sure the dog has plenty of water and food, and you know, vitamin. I give him a dog vitamin every day, a multivitamin for dogs. And of course, he has plenty of food. He has plenty of water. And you know, I'm going to be a lot smarter about things too, and everything. I did buy a lot of garden seeds, but I won't be able to start planting until maybe late May to early, uh, early May to uh, late April, you know, when the last frost is gone and everything and starts warming up. Right now, we're about, to, you know, we're in the beginning of March and everything, so we're, we live here in southeast Iowa, next to Mississippi, our town is, but our homes are farther inland and everything from the river, so we're less likely to be flooded. The most we ever have to do worry about is maybe F1 or F2 tornadoes around here. So we've been very blessed here where we live. But you know, there are other threats like, you know, fallout from like, you know, a blast from a major city and the wind is heading, is he you know, throwing the fallout in our area or something, whether it's Chicago or St. Louis. Hopefully not. But... Or, you know, and I'm going to have to start thinking about canning and everything and growing a garden this spring and canning over, you know, whenever things come in and everything. The food starts coming out over the summer and start canning and everything. Get some glass jars, you know, mason jars or golden harvest jars. But I'm going to tell you one thing. We're not going hungry by a long shot. My husband and I are not going hungry at all. And we also have plenty to eat and everything. And I know my mom's a little worried about cleanliness, but there are ways around it. I've looked it up. 
you know, and also online and in books and everything. And I'm also, you know, have a lot of knowledge about a lot of things and, and so on and so forth and everything. Right now, yes, it's a little rainy and stormy, but they're just scattered showers and thunderstorms, but they're real light and everything. We got so much darn rain last year and snow over the winter and everything. Now, December was fairly mild and everything, even on Christmas Eve, you know, over two months ago, going on three months. It was so mild. You may, you may have just need a light jacket that it, or just long sleeve shirts. And we went to our church services that evening and everything after my husband got off work and so on and so forth. And we we just enjoyed, you know, our Christmas. Having that, coming home to a good meal and everything, just an hour-long service. And we even sang Silent Night in German and everything. And as I said, it's getting really bad and everything. This world is getting bad. But thank God, you know, they went up one level on death con so we can relax just a smidge. That's it. But still prepare. Like last night, I bought a manual air pump. It's like a hammer one thing it's done for. Hook your thing up to the air hose and just pump, you know, pump up your bed or whatever. Or your, you know, beach ball or your flotation mattress. Whatever. It's there. Use it. Use your, you know, items that you have around the house. And we got camping bed full size for us. Our dog, he likes laying on the throw rugs in the living room. So I just, I'll just take him down to the basement. My folks, all they have to do is bring a, their camping bed with them. They'll be elevated, but they, I told me they could use my manual air pump. And they'll have plenty of chairs and, and other things to hang out on downstairs anyway. Hopefully the cell phone towers will be up in case of a radiological emergency, but not. I think people are probably going to tell you to stay off of it, your phones and everything, unless it's an emergency, even the Internet. So you're going to have to find ways to entertain yourself. That means, you know, bring books, bring magazines, uh, bring games for the children, toys, your pet toys. Uh, make sure your pets also, you know, now if you, it's your cat, they have a litter box. With a dog, you might want to get some potty pads or you can use newspaper. Whatever, you know, suits your budget and everything. And, you know, we buy a Sunday paper every week anyway with our own money from the gas station. So it's not that much. It's only like once a week. On Sundays because they have the, lots of coupons and everything. And yes, uh, back on Thursday I did stock up. Even back on Tuesday I stocked up. And you know when I go shopping again, I'll probably buy some more one get gallon jugs of water from the grocery store or the super center or even the dollar store. I'm probably going to have to get some charcoal nitro fluid and buy some more matches. I know we do have a big box of them, but still, it's a good idea to keep, get another box or two. And also, get a barbecue lighter if you want. And I did buy this really big honky candle and everything. And I have another candle jar, and then I got some small ones. So that probably would suit our purpose and everything. And, you know, hopefully if this happens, I hope it's during warm weather. <laughs> Like late spring throughout the summer, maybe early fall at the most, and everything. And I'm not going to complain. I look around my house, and I'm not going to complain about my situation. I'm just going to thank the good Lord that he's providing for us and everything, and so on and so forth. Right now, yes, I, am, I, am, I believe I am right with God. I do my very best every day to, you know follow the Ten Commandments, and I do accept Jesus die on the cross for my sins. And I do ask the Lord to forgive me for whatever sins I did in the past and present, because I didn't mean it. Well, bye for now. <laughs>